Hey, I'm JP at Retro Game Rarities, and we're going to take a look at a cool shotgun accessory for your Nintendo Switch. Retro Game Rarities. I purchased this for about $8 during a sale. I believe they're between $13 and $18 normally. This is a one-piece assault shotgun revolver made of thick plastic and comes in either black or white. Each handle has inserts for the Joy-Cons. They just pop on in. Triggers and buttons are also easy to access. It's also ergonomic with both handles going perpendicular to the gun versus a standard shotgun style. Something to keep in mind if you have kids, it doesn't have the orange safety coloring. The main reason I picked this up was for House of the Dead remake. And there are a couple other shooters we can check out. Alright, let's get into some House of the Dead. What I would uh, recommend on this is recalibrating your gyros before you pop into the game. This is definitely not as accurate as a uh, as infrared. Oh well, got yeah, he's dead. This is definitely more fun than playing with a controller. Thank you. No, thank you for the med pack, my friend. Wow, that was a close one. All right, here we go. We got some mad bullets. This is a fun one. Old West style. Help me. Come on up here. <laughs> Great round shooter. Highly recommend this one. <laughs> Alright, this is another good game that works with the shotgun. Assault Chain Guns KM. Let's roll. This one is like some old, like the classic Sega light gun games from the arcades. All you have to do is just keep the trigger down, you never run out of ammo, and the camera just keeps moving. You gotta grab those red targets. Sounds easy, it's pretty difficult. They look like Master Chiefs. Stop trying to kill me, Master Chief. I'm on your side. Yeah, also, don't play this game if you get motion sick easily. 
While the feel of this is no gun con, it certainly adds to the fun of a rail shooter instead of using a controller. I found that the fit and finish are high quality. I also like how compact this design is. My only gripe is that the L and R buttons are slightly difficult to access if needed. Do I feel this piece of plastic is worth nearly $20? No. But if you can pick it up for under $15, I'd say go for it. Anything under $10 is gravy. What kind of rail shooter accessories do you use? What have you been playing? Leave a comment. Again, I'm JP at Retro Game Rarities. Thanks for watching.